Speaking of earphones, it is something we're all familiar with. And among all earphones, there are probably hundreds of brands are well known. But when it comes to wireless, esports, desktop level, Bluetooth, split gaming headphones, there are only few. For me, to win the game is not important, but I have to have extremely gaming experience. It's fine to be a rookie, but my setup has to be the top. I need to make myself sound clear as well as my teammates. And the earphone also need to indicate the locations. The microphone should be clean and noiseless, because I need to make sure that they can hear my beautiful language. G933S is the headphone I'm currently using. It has accompanied me through the battlefield for already two years long. But its performance has no longer satisfied me. And there are issues and problems are constantly troubling me. So it is time to retire it and welcome the new member. Cyberblade Gaming Earbuds. With a bunch of wires on it, which is spread my head and Oracle. That means I can have a better play. The good thing about wireless earbuds is you don't have to take it off and cut off the communication when going to washroom or take your delivery. But something worries me is the latency, because that's the most important thing for gaming, especially the FPS games. One second latency would bury the entire game. Cyberblade wireless earbuds is indeed looking like a desktop level earphone. The headphone like these ones, the hardware stuff are all keeping inside the body, which has increased the weight and leaves the receiver so compact. Cyberblade is different. Two little earbuds and a numinous dock, which as a receiver computing all the process and connected with a computer by a cable. That's where the earbuds can be so compact and having fast connection at the same time. I heard the latency on these earbuds is only 36 milliseconds. I don't know if that's good by comparing to the other earphones. But I have to use that for almost a month. And I didn't encounter any latency that would seriously affect my gaming experience. Besides, many eSport players has already proved the latency of wireless earbuds is something insignificant. Well, except the latency, it also need to have a good indication of sound source. The sound resolution of a Cyberblade is pretty good. Unlike the other gaming earphones which sounds plain and stuffy, whether that is good to simulate the footsteps. Perhaps that is good to create an atmosphere for offline game. But for competitive FPS game, I wish I could hear more crispy and clear footsteps, so I can analyze where my enemy is. This is so important that would benefit you like you are cheating. The sound feedback of a Cyberblade is more preferred by competitive FPS players like CSGO. If you ever play that game, you wouldn't know how crucial it is to get all the information. In order to increase the battery life, Cyberblade is equipped with three chips, two for earbuds and one for the dock. So they can leave the heavy tasks to the dock and free the earbuds from computing. But the battery is still small due to its compact size. The battery life is still a problem. Compared to those heavy and large headphones, this one can only last for four to five hours by a single charge. Besides, when you run out of its battery, you have to put it back to the case for charging you can't keep playing by connecting with a cable. 
4 to 5 hours battery life is definitely very short for those serious gamers. But it is quite enough for me, who won't play that long time. Once I'm done playing, I will put it back to the charging dock, and the second day I will take it away very naturally. This process has ensured the AirPods is charged every time. Commuting and gaming, these two scenarios, Cyberblade could seamlessly switch between them. That is something the individual gaming headphones and the TWS are not capable with. At the beginning, I wasn't expecting the music performance on this, cause after all, in order to emphasize the full stop and gunshot, the medium to low frequency sound is what they focus on. But overall, I was happy with it on my way to work. But as a commuting earphone, the noise cancellation is not satisfying at all. Most of the time, I couldn't even figure out whether the cancellation is on or not. Especially like me who has to squeeze through the crowded metro station every day. The talking, train noise are all very clear to my ear. Even I turned up the volume as much as I could. Cyberblade has failed my gaming and commuting needs by changing forms. The seamless and smooth experience makes it feel good. The stylish dark design with the RGB color, it can absolutely become one of your fancy setups. The concept and ideas on Cyberblade is pretty good. When dealing with gaming, it responds quickly. You can hardly sense any latency, and the precise sound source indications would help you a lot. As a game earbuds, I would give it 8 points. But if I treat it as a daily commuting earphone, the thickness and weight is a big embarrassment. If this could be the only part we need to take in the next generation, and control the volume by scrolling wheel and touching screen, which is integrated on the dock, then that would be so convenient for daily use. Moreover, the functions on app is not completed, like you can't customize the pressure operations of headphones, and never mind the poor noise cancellation because it wouldn't help at all. So as a daily earphone, I can only give it 4 points. The price of a Cyberblade is now around 250 bucks. With that cost, I won't be satisfied if it can only benefit me when playing games. So, it might be a better product if they can improve the daily using experience. At last, Angry Meow Cyberblade Gaming Earbuds, Testv gives 6 points as the subjective overall score.